Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. We're here for box number four of Innistrad Crimson Vow. So actually, um, after looking at the last couple boxes, they actually haven't been too bad, uh, value-wise, just to give you a little tip. Um, however, um, I'm not sure, like most of the value hasn't come from the box, to be honest with you. It's been from set cards and this. Well, actually the last couple, this ain't more than crap, but at least I got it on there that right this time. Um, Ugh. This thing's horrible. Ugh. There we go. Just over here. Throw that thing away. Alright, as always, guys, this is your captain speaking. Trade tables and seat backs in their full upright position as we take off into this box of Crimson Val. Looking for the big money. Which, it's not really a whole lot of anything that is big money, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't really found anything too big. Uh, found some twenty thirty dollar uh, list cards, which are <laughs> which was pretty surprising and sweet all at the same time. Not gonna lie. So, all right, headless headless rider, foil infantry. Ooh, that's a cool reprint of Stangled Root, guys. That's got to be worth a little bit of something. That's great. I like that picture too. It's kind of sexy, not gonna lie. So remember guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, help support the channel, and use all the help I can get. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you've already done all that, tell some friends, tell some family members, get people watching, that always helps. And if you wanna do even more than that, oh, these alternate art pictures are just awesome foils. If you wanna do more than that, uh, check out the link in the description. It'll take you to the eBay store. There is a sale going on. Uh, ooh, nice. Olivia signed. Anna, baby. Come on, get in there. Come on, zoom in. There we go. Anna. Yeah, nice, baby. Um... There is a sale going on right now for Black Friday. Spend twenty dollars, get twenty percent off whole, the whole order. So go check it out. It'll help clear out some of my old inventory, make room for this new inventory. Uh, once the sale ends, is probably when these products are going to go up. So sorry about that, but this is the new stuff. Can't give you a discount just yet. Or maybe I will. Who knows? Uh, eyeball. All right. Foil Swamp, very nice. Love the foil lands. The lands in this Crimson Vow Midnight Hunter are just amazing. I love these things. All right, there's a Commander Rare. That's not terrible. Um, there we go, our very first Sorn Mythic. Very, very first? I think this is the first one. Maybe not. Really, what is that? Supposed to be on there? Oh, whatever. All right, we have our first mythic. It is a sweet sword. So yeah, happy about that. Uh, also in the description below, you'll notice there's a link to my email for the store. Feel free to hit me up if you have any questions, comments, and or concerns, or just lonely like me, and you wanna chat. But um bum All right, so we got uncommon, alt art, an auric. Chill the grave, eh, relearn. I'll put it over here to the size. I don't think that's really worth anything. Um, with that said, um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that now. I just had brain fart. Yep. Uncommons, full art, Hall and Moon, festivities, Rick rolled. Damn you, wizards. Alright. Hey, here we go. Mythic number two. Savior of Olenbrook. Olenbrook? Whatever. But Mythic number two, that's sweet. Oh, and it has an extra rare in there. Oh, what a pack, boys. Foil Mythic also. Mm-mm-mm. Let's scoot this bad boy over. So that is a sweet hit. Um, I'm not sure if that one's worth a whole lot, but foil mythics are foil mythics. You know, kind of like $20 is $20. Except better. Because there's no shame at the end of it. But anyway, alright. 
Let's roll this next one up. Let's see if we can keep the roll, keep this thing going. We're on fire, kind of, sort of. Okay, uh, Dreadfast Demon, uh, regular foil, Piggy Boy. It's gonna be me this weekend uh, after Thanksgiving. I hate the buffet. I ain't gonna lie, I got a week off and boy, am I gonna hit the buffet. This card in the back feels funny. Alright, Bloodcaster. Oops, wrong spot. Toxic. Cool, Spellbook. It's worth a little bit of money. Not terrible. So, I forgot to mention on my last video, uh, but happy Thanksgiving, guys. I put it in the title because I forgot because I film these in advance while I'm opening these boxes in mass like this. So, sorry about that. But happy Thanksgiving. By the time you guys watch this video, I'll probably be out gambling or something like that for the holiday with the with the little woman. Because, uh, yeah, why not? Alright. Uncommons, Uncommon, Alternate Arch. Ooh, there we go. Best rare in a set, Hall Breaker Horror. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Kindly Ancestor, Rick Rolled once again. Uh, just throwing shit so mad. Uh, anyway. God, that sticky stuff on there. I know why they did it, but they, they had to put so much. I mean, Jesus, it's one card. Like, come on. Let me hit like one foil land, I think. Maybe two. A little rough. Alright, alternate arts. Alright, inspired idea. Foil alternate art. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Check, just check. One foil land. I'm a little sad about that, to be honest with you. Land, the foil lands are sweet. Aha! Second foil land. Even a swamp. That's what the last one was. Not the same swamp, but it was a swamp. Alright, alternate art. Okay, dominating vampire. Nurturing presence and a blood token. Alright, we're really slowed down now. We're almost two thirds of the way through the box. Well, we're about halfway through the box now. We haven't hit any of the mythic yet. Really need to hit a mythic. We have to hit some good money rares though. We'll say that. Can't. Ooh, look at that. Fowler and Forebearer. Alternate art rare. Very nice. Which means this is. Ooh, yeah, there's a mythic, baby. Look at that bad boy. So, mythic number three, four if you count the foil. Got a good wash away there. Nice. This is turning out to be a pretty sweet box. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really happy with the mythics in this one. I got a Old Temple Loner, not a great dare. Scattered Thoughts. And a Benediction of the Moons. Unfortunately, a common, probably worth nothing. But, hey, at least it's on flavor, right? I'll give him kudos for that. Alright, Island. Uncommons. Alright, we got a whole bunch of those, like, alternate art stuff. Very nice. Alright, we have an investigative journal. Ooh, and even a rare. Voice of the Blessed. That's pretty sweet. That's also another good hit. That voice is a blessed, in case you guys hasn't, haven't noticed, is really making some waves. Two mana 2-2, two, two, basically a better Johnny's Prime maze that comes in as a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Cause once it gets bigger, it gets flying in Vigilance. Like it's just a, a better a Johnny Pride mate. It's a Pride mate with spice. Okay, uh, I guess it's a mythic. Once again, I hate when these take the slot of mythics in my pack. Uh, but it is a mythic, so we gotta draw off. Mm, spirit. Alright, almost two thirds of the way through. We're getting there. Alright, land. Commons, some uncommons, more commons. Alternate art, very nice. Hey, our first land of the box. Wow, that took a while. Love land cycles in this set. I think they're fantastic. They're going to be worth money. Let's see how they can't be. Okay, 
afternoon art. And there's a curse of hospitality. That's not too hot. I think there's that. Uh, a lesser Gargadon. Wow. Whenever a lesser Gargadon attacks or blocks, sacrifice a land. Eh. Nothing worth the main value there. Kind of wonder why that's in the set. That doesn't really... Giant elephant kind of doesn't really play with the theme. Oh, sweet. Foil Mountain. Like that. Love them foil lands, boys and girls. Oh, a couple on commons. Common. All right, here we go. Alternate art. Oh, there's a Thalia hot dog. Sweet little lady there. Eh, Rot Tide. Nothing special. All right, guys. It's time. We're going to check this bad boy out. All right. So, it's not a dual face card. I don't know if that's good or bad. All right. The last two packs we had have been really sad. Let's hope this is something special. Eh. I mean, it's rare. It's Amina Harker. It's alternate art. I do think this is one of the more expensive rares uh, for the alternate card because this is basically uh, an alternate art Thalia. So I think this actually has a little bit of value, even though Thalia is not really... Uh, well, Thalia's went down a lot in value a little bit just because, I mean, she's been reprinted a couple times now. So... But that definitely could have been different or worse. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Hey, a second signed card. Check that out. That is a nice signature, Mr. Solomore. Yep. Or whatever. So, but yeah, so that uh, that seems pretty good. Probably one of the better box toppers we've gotten so far. Not going to lie. Um, ooh, there is another Mythic. Maniform Hellkite. That's making some serious waves. I think number five, one of them being a rare, so like I said, this box is performing rather well. Pretty sure that Hellkite's about seven bucks. We've had to hit a couple seven dollar mythics or, or rares already. Nice foil land. So this case is starting to really shape up now. Uh, alternate art, alternate art. Uh, Dorothy, no place like home. Letting us guess. Love that foil. So pretty. It's pretty. So pretty. All right, oh, there she is again. She's everywhere. She's everywhere. You don't get the reference to that. You're going to have to go way back for that one. All right. All right, we got a dollhouse of horrors. Uh, that's trash. And so is this. All right. Come on now. Get some spice here in the clothes. We're getting close to the end. Commons. Common, common. All right, alternate art. Nice. Oh, there's a rare. That's uh, that's not a good rare. That's not one of the one of the pricey ones, unfortunately. Uh, Shaman. That's not really great either. Skulking killer. Not so hot. Oh, that's not. Good enough. Well, that pack was a real letdown. We haven't hit a rare yet in a list slot, so that's kind of interesting. There's Thalia again. Thalia, Thalia, and more Thalia. Creepy Puppeteer, me on the weekends. Uh, foil, ew, Loyal Apprentice. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. I want to take a look. Probably not since it's a commander card. I don't mean it that way. I mean, there's commander cards with a lot of money, but mo most of them aren't like really cheap ones. When I say cheap, I mean like low drop cards, but maybe. Take a look, we'll find out. And you can find out too when we go through the box the box value video for the EV. Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, Minute profit. Oh. Oh, hey, look at that. Pure Steel Angel, too. Very nice. Pretty sure that's worth a pretty penny. Uh, but this thing is beautiful. I'm not sure it's worth a lot of money, but man, is that nice. Mm mm. So, not counting the box top rights. Right? Two rares and one mythic uh, foil. So, that's pretty good average for the box. It'd be nice to hit one more of those. Um, rare or mythic. Honestly, Mythics and Generals would be nice. To be honest with you. All right, little Anjay. Oh, yes, another Mythic. Volatile Arsonist. Sweet. So this box is really coming through for us. Three packs left. We've already hit six Mythics. One of them's foil. Seems like it's pretty good. Now, unfortunately, the list hasn't been real kind to us like in the other boxes. So those Mythics are going to have to make it up this time because the list just ain't coming through for us. At least not right now. Maybe it will here in a minute. All right, Blood Purveyor. 
Full Twin Blade Geist, and nothing. Alright, another Foil Swamp. Man, there's so many swamps in this guy. So many Foil Swamps. Alright, Alternate Art, Alternate Art. Olivia's Attendance, Almost at Sisters. Uh, Blessed Blow, ah, Faithless Looting. Remember that card used to be five, six, seven dollars, almost maybe ten dollars at one point. You guys remember that? That was those were the days. I'll tell you what. Then he got hit by the Van Hammer. Then he got hit by the Reprint Hammer. Uh, all right, all right. Welcoming Vampire. That's a good two, three dollar card for a rare. Uh, well, looks like nothing spicy in the clothes, guys. Still pretty great pack. Uh, two foil rares, of course, the box topper, which is worth money, I believe. We got one foil mythic, and then we had six other mythics. Only five of them from the set, though. Uh, so that's kind of looking like the average. So it's looking like if you could open a case of these with the right rate that we're going, you're only going to get 30 mythics. Which makes me cry a little on the inside. I'm not going to lie. But all that said, guys, thanks a lot. Until next time, remember to be kind. I will see you at the next game.